Hello everybody, today we're taking a quick look at Godzilla Minus One, written and directed by Takashi Yamazaki, and starring Junosuke Kamiki, Minami Hamabe, and Munetaka Aoki. In the likely event that I have butchered any or all of those names, I do apologize. Near the end of World War II, kamikaze pilot Koichi lands his plane at a Japanese base for repairs. The mechanic Tachibana quickly realizes there is nothing wrong with his plane, and Koichi has fled his suicidal duties by feigning mechanical trouble. That night, the base is suddenly attacked by Godzilla, and Koichi's fear gets the best of him again, and he cannot bring himself to shoot the giant lizard from his plane. He and Tachibana are the only survivors of the attack, and he returns home to Tokyo to find his home a mess and his parents dead. Feeling the effects of survivor's guilt, he takes a job as a minesweeper. And he supports a woman named Noriko, who in turn is supporting an orphaned baby named Akiko. And as they are trying to rebuild their lives, and indeed all of Japan is trying to rebuild after the war, Godzilla is mutated by nuclear testing at the Bikini Atoll. This makes the already huge lizard even bigger, and he begins rampaging through Tokyo. And it's up to a crew of military veterans to find a way to stop this giant freaking lizard. This is, hands down, one of the best Godzilla movies I have ever seen, and I'm amazed it was made for about $15 million. Sadly, part of the reason it was much less expensive than it looks is Japanese actors and filmmakers don't really have a union and are often overworked and underpaid. Not that I am discounting the work the filmmakers did, mind you. They should be commended and paid more. And much like the original Godzilla movie way back in 1954, the big lizard is not actually the star of the show. This is really Koichi's story, and that poor guy goes through a lot. First he becomes a reluctant kamikaze pilot, and fear prevents him from doing his duty a couple of times, and as soon as he gets back to Tokyo, pretty much his only surviving neighbor immediately berates him like, if you had done your duty, none of this would have happened! Which, you know, bullshit. One more kamikaze killing himself was not going to win the war, especially considering, you know, the nukes we dropped on Japan. What was he supposed to do, fly his plane into the nuke? You know what? You go ahead and try that, you let me know how it goes. But anyway, basically all he's feeling is fear and guilt, and even after the war is over, the war going on inside his head is not. But then he and Noriko and Akiko form this very unconventional family, which is actually kind of charming. And he becomes very close with the crew on his minesweeping ship. And eventually he becomes involved in the mission to stop Godzilla from destroying Tokyo. And over time he is slowly letting go of all the fear and guilt and learning how to live and what he has to live for. And Kamiki's performance is fantastic. He's really good in this role. There's also a lot of unlearning the lessons that Koichi and others have been taught about what's the right thing to do, the honorable thing to do, and what they owe their country and their government. And what they realize, correctly, is there is no reason to die for a government that doesn't give a shit about you. And there's a really cool moment when they're planning their final assault on Godzilla, and the youngest member of the Minesweeper team wants to join in the fight. And the poor kid has already broken his arm at this point, so how useful can he possibly be? But he still wants to fight. He thinks that's the only way he can have any pride in his life. And the leader of the Minesweeper ship actually tells him, not having gone to war is something to be proud of. Which is a lesson that far too many people need to learn. I really enjoyed this. It's not just a great Godzilla movie, but one of the best movies I saw in 2023. If it's still playing on the big screen in your area, I highly recommend seeing it. If it's not, See it when you can, it's definitely worth your time. And that's all I have to say about Godzilla Minus One. Till next time, take care.